Almost 60% of external leadership hires say it takes six months or more to reach full impact in their position. Companies also pay up to 20% more to bring in an external hire than promoting an internal one. Jason LaDuc, back with you here, helping you become the kind of boss you always wish you had when you were starting out. I've noticed a really big problem where most companies have future leaders sitting right in front of them and they don't even know it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to discover that hidden potential on your team. You don't need to wait for your employees to ask for more responsibility. You can proactively spot potential leaders before they even realize it themselves. Stick around and by the end, you'll know the exact traits and behaviors to look for in your future leaders, as well as how to encourage that kind of performance. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos helping you and your team become better leaders and jumpstart your career. Most companies are so focused on external hiring, they forget about the talent already inside their walls. And while 70% of leadership positions are filled externally, that can come with some downsides. Almost 60% of external leadership hires say it takes six months or more to reach full impact in their position. Companies also pay up to 20% more to bring in an external hire than promoting an internal one. You've probably heard that leaders aren't born, they're developed. It's been said many different ways by many different people. Here's what to look for today to start developing leaders that are already on your team. First, find your proactive problem solvers. Look for team members who solve problems before they're asked. They don't wait for direction, they take the initiative. Next, seek out people with emotional intelligence. You're looking for employees that empathize with others, handle conflict well, and understand team dynamics. An absolute non-negotiable is accountability. Your future leaders are the employees who take ownership of their mistakes as well as their successes. Finally, you're looking for people with a growth mindset. Employees who are always learning, seeking feedback, and improving are the ones who will take responsibility for their own development and inspire that in others. Even when I was in the Air Force, we dealt with this push and pull between internal and external. In a lot of cases, a new squadron commander or director of operations will come from outside the squadron, which comes with taking some time to get up to speed. But in our case, it was often only days to weeks instead of months, because throughout the Air Force, we look for these traits and develop them in all our blue suitors as if they were going to take over as an internal hire. So no matter where they ended up taking a leadership position, they were prepared to hit the ground running. So what do you do once you've identified the future leaders within your organization? First, regularly check in with each of your team members, not just on what they're working on or their performance, but the leadership traits we discussed and what's going on in their lives. Next, encourage employees to take on stretch assignments or leadership tasks in small doses. I found this to be the most effective thing in building my leadership skills and confidence when I was a young Air Force officer, and I've used this very successfully myself to help others reach their potential as leaders. Also, emphasize the importance of mentorship on your team. Help your employees find mentors who are not in their direct reporting chain to help them develop the traits we talked about above. Also, encourage them to have those same kind of conversations with their peers to build a culture of leadership on the team. Okay. So today we explored how you can uncover hidden leadership potential on your own team by focusing on and encouraging traits like proactivity, emotional intelligence, accountability, and a growth mindset. You can start grooming your future leaders today instead of having to look for them on the outside. If you found this helpful, share it with someone who can use it. Hit that subscribe button for more leadership tips and don't forget to like the video and leave a comment with your thoughts on how you spot leadership potential in your own team. And if you're serious about developing yourself and others to be future leaders, look for my upcoming online course where you can take control of your own leadership growth instead of waiting for your boss to invest in your training and development. Check out my website to get signed up for early access. Okay, get out there and do great things today. Keep watching, keep developing your leader's mindset, onward and upward.